All right, well, I had some success uh, using this pencil lead uh, graphite uh, on a electrostatic motor. And um, this is a quick view of what I've got going on here. It's just a basic little electrostatic motor, only on the uh, rotor, instead of aluminum elements, I use these pencil lead um, sticks, which have the uh, pyrolytic uh, um, repelling of a magnet uh, characteristic. And I don't know if this is doing any good or not, but it seems to run longer when I have the magnets positioned just right on this thing. And this is the capacitor, and it was pre-charged. That's the date. And um, anyway, like I say, I did have luck with this. This will run about half an hour on a charge. And... Um, I've ordered the real pyrolytic graphite, and I should get that in a day or so, and I can maybe catch up to where uh, Laser Saber is with his uh, uh, using that to elevate a, a rotor so you don't have the friction involved. So we'll, uh, we'll see about that when that gets here. But let me show you what this is like here. Let me take this apart. And this... Um, rotor like i say is sticks of this graphite pencil lead stuck on there and uh it charges and discharges using these little uh, uh brushes here and then the magnets are situated in such a way that they they push on the graphite i believe when this is discharging and help push this around somehow because it does run longer than without the magnets and I had to have these magnets in that position there and I tried all different locations and this is where it ran the best now if you're going to do something like this um, be really really careful because this capacitor is completely silent when it's charged and it holds a jolt of electricity and that'll knock you on your butt, that stupid little thing right there. But anyway, this was my um, uh, little uh, experiment here with the um, electrostatic uh, motor using the graphite sticks on the rotor. And uh, it worked. Thanks for watching.